Hey guys, so before I do anything, I just want to thank you all for 10,000 subscribers. I mean, it seems like, I don't know, just yesterday I hit 5,000, which is pretty insane. So, yeah, I just, I want to thank every single one of you who subscribe and continue to watch my videos. It's, it means a lot to me. But, anyways, so today's video is about testing whether Bloodfinder AC or Striker farm faster. And... I pretty much already know what's gonna happen, what the outcome is, but I'm gonna do the test anyways just so I can be extra super sure. And the way I do it, I'm gonna see which one can farm to 2,000 materials faster. And materials being wood, because that's like the easiest one to do. And I'm just gonna go into a jungle area, and I'll get I'll get that in probably like two minutes. So they farm, they both farm extremely fast. So anyways. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so right now I have Striker AC equipped with no farming or no squad bonuses that will help him farm. But why is this like Skull Trooper not level 9? Weird, because he's 106. That's a bug. Anyways, so just to see Stri Striker AC without any help, just to see how he can fast if you have this hero alone at 3 star 30. And by the way, it won't matter if he's epic or legendary. L making him legendary only increases like health, shield, and ability power. So it, it won't have any effect on his farming ability at all. So yeah, let's just jump in. Let's start this timer. Now when it comes to Striker AC being a good farmer, it's all about your anti-material charge. That's literally the only thing that matters. Alright, I'm gonna try to find a good area with trees. And how fast you farm is all dependent on RNG too. How many like clusters of trees there are near you to see how efficient you could be at farming them with your anti-material charge. So he's not really about his pickaxe like that's pathfinder pathfinder is literally all about the pickaxe strike racy all about anti-material charge they both obviously farm really fast though so you can't really go wrong when it comes to using one but we'll find out if you have both which one's better all right i'm trying to be as efficient as possible and get I uh, didn't have the distance to get multiple trees, but you want when you're farming, you want to get multiple trees. That's kind of the goal, because it'll just make your it'll speed up your farming tremendously. Now I'm already at a thousand, and it's been what minute 24. All right, let's try to speed this up. Get two trees there. Come over here, kill this with my pickaxe. And I'm doing this uh, test in Plankerton because I assume most players are in Plankerton or possibly Stonewood because there are a lot of new players. I need to find more big trees. That's like those are the best when it comes to farming, like the the broccoli trees. There it is. But I'm at 1:45 or 1.45. I'm at 2:02 on the clock. see if I can get these two trees. Got them. Yeah. So yeah, getting multiple trees is key in your anti-material charge to speed up your farming. I didn't, I didn't already say that. I don't, know, I don't know. I'm trying to focus. I'm almost there. There we go. Alright, so 240. I stopped it a little bit late there, but... Alright, so Striker AC alone with no help is 240. Alright, that's good to know. I'll be right back with him plus the Pathfinder as a Okay, so now I am in the same map, but I have Pathfinder Jess in my support slot, which increases my pickaxe damage by 24%. So theoretically, this should speed up the process a little bit more. So, yeah, start it up. 
Whoops. That kind of backfire. I'm not gonna worry about survivors. Uh, uh, I'll throw that up there. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna get into these trees and bam. So instead, I'm, I'm literally two shotting all these trees as long as I hit the crit spot. Also, this is a great way to farm planks and twine. <laughs> I'm gonna be getting a shit ton of it by the end of this. Cause I'm doing nothing but hitting trees. Damn. Easy. Easy. I'm at 916. trying to kill you. Good. You've reached the shelter. Use the terminal to run diagnostics to see what's wrong. So yeah, you just want to be using your antimaterial charge as often as possible. More often than I'm using it right now. I don't know. I don't know why I'm not using it as much. Like right now I should just be using it. Because as long as you hit something, it has a nine second cooldown. That's like what Strike Gracie is all about. It's all about being able to have antimaterial charge off cooldown like all the time. I'm at 1.8k. One 1.93. 2.1k. And pause. So I'm gonna call that about 210. There's so many. Holy crap. Alright, so it shaved about 30 seconds off of the time. So, definitely if you have Pathfinder Jess and Striker C and you want to use Striker, definitely put Pathfinder Jess in your support slot if you're only going to be doing farming like I am in this instance. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll, I'm going to start my Bloodfinder AC uh, test. So, right now I'm with uh, Pathfinder with, see, it says 106 Skull Trooper Jonesy before it said 91. That was a weird bug. Anyways, I don't have any farming uh, uh, support s slots, so this is just Pathfinder by himself. Restart 30, seeing how fast he can farm 2,000 wood. Now, it's probably going to be slower than Striker AC because his anti-material charge doesn't have a 9 second cooldown, but he does have more pickaxe damage, so let's see how that works in his favor or not. So, I'm going to start timer now. Trying to get the... Now his, yeah, see his anti-material charge is 30 seconds, so he's all about pickaxing stuff to death. And that's why I think when I put Pathfinder in the support slot for the next test, it's going to be a lot, a lot more beneficial for him because he's using his pickaxe exclusively on those, while Striker AC is using his uh, anti-material charge. I'm still farming really fast. Regardless of how he does, he's still a lot faster than any other Outlander. Striker and Pathfinder are both by far the best to farm with. So you can't really go wrong with either. But I'm doing this to see which one has the slight edge when it comes to farming. So I'm at a thousand currently. It does, I'm not even looking at the clock, but it does seem a lot slower. I don't know why I just used that on that. That was stupid. So It's all about being efficient, and currently I am not being efficient.
Honestly, with how much pickaxe damage she does, it's almost faster to pickaxe stuff to death than it is to use the uh, anti-material charge, almost. And time. So, 220. Hmm. Yeah, so we're, we're just going to call it 220. That's, that's really fast. That's a lot faster than I thought he was going to be. I guess I may as well drop my supplies, but... Damn. I thought he was going to be slower than Striker AC. But obviously they're both still extremely fast. So, let's, let's see how fast he can be when I put Pathfinder in the support slot. Okay, so now I have Pathfinder... Primary Pathfinder squad bonus, so he'll have the extra 24% uh, harvesting tool damage, which I think will speed up the process even more. So <laughs> let's let's get started. Ah, I'm just I'm gonna not get both. That was interesting. Getting crit bad. That's unfortunate. I had to get to a place with a lot more trees. Here we go. The more mushroom trees, the faster you'll farm. I'm at 500. I'm at farming brick, dude. Jesus Christ, I'm hard. did that encampment with my hover turret only. Holy shit, I bet you that's gonna get nerfed tomorrow. This this video is gonna be coming up on a Sunday. So that's definitely gonna get nerfed. The hover turret is so strong right now, it's actually ridiculous. If you're not running it right now, you should before it gets nerfed. Probably tomorrow, as I said. Because it, it's just way too good. It literally just destroys everything. I was thinking about doing a video on it, but then I'm like What's the point when you're gonna nerf it very, very soon? Emma. I just got 22 nuts and bolts from that. That's actually funny. Oh, time. Shit. So I'm gonna call it like what? 2. 209 ish? So that's not really that much of a difference. So here, I'll, I'll call it 208. That's only like a few seconds faster than Striker AC plus Pathfinder in the support slot. I think I know why that is, because when you go to like the big trees, you, you can't two-shot it with even with the uh, Pathfinder support. You have to hit it, then uh, hit it again, and it'll have like 50 HP. So in that instance, you're not actually benefiting from the 24% harvesting tool damage. I, I was noticing that while I was hitting those trees. So that, that's very interesting. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a spreadsheet for the data. So this is just a simple uh, Google Docs on the statistics. Now remember, this is just my experiment, and I did each of these once. So these numbers could go up or down, depending on how efficient and how good your RNG with big trees is. So this is not by all means an all-in indicator. This is better, this is better, this is better, this is better. It, this is just from my experience only in my experiment, the times that it took to get to 2,000 wood in those scenarios. That's it. So don't just be like, I, I can farm way faster than with Striker than Pathfinder. Good. I, 
go, go use it. I, I don't care. Like, use whatever you want to use. But I just did this experiment to see just a rough estimate of what each hero with the support could do. This is not... I'm not saying you have to use Pathfinder because it's two seconds faster than Striker plus Pathfinder. It, that's not what I'm saying at all. Use what you have and what you want to use. This is just a, a loose guidelines on how to go about doing it. And remember, these heroes are just for farming. They suck ass at damage. Remember that. So, tier one. I'm only going off of time. I know it only beat it by two seconds. But, if you have two Pathfinders which I'm assuming not a lot of people do, I would go with using Pathfinder as support and main hero. If you have those, because honestly, you could be a lot more efficient than I was because I was kind of half-assing it. Now, if you have a striker and a Pathfinder, I would definitely want you to use striker as your main hero and Pathfinder in the support slot for the extra pickaxe damage. That is going to be almost basically just as fast because this is this could be a trial and error. I could do this over again and get faster with Pathfinder and Striker. If you have any of these heroes, you cannot go wrong with using two Pathfinders or Striker and Pathfinder in the support slot. You cannot go wrong. You will do it. Re you will still farm extremely fast and get all of your resources really fast. Now, if you only have a Pathfinder. Guess what? You gotta use the Pathfinder. But if you have Pathfinder and Striker, I would I would definitely put Pathfinder in the support slot. If you just have stri only Striker, use only Striker. It's there. These are really good heroes to farm with. So yeah. Any anyways, if you have Striker and Pathfinder, put Pathfinder in the support. Use your main as Striker. If you only have Pathfinder, only use Pathfinder. If you only have Striker, only use Striker. If you have like elite scout, put him in your support. He gives you like extra 6% chance to find loot or something like that. But for double loot, I think is what it is. But anyways, based off my experiment, this is their times. So you cannot go wrong with using any of these. They will all farm extremely fast. Okay, that's the conclusion. Don't don't go in the comments and yell that striker is better than Pathfinder. I, I don't care. Use what you want to use. This is just the simple math of my, uh, my fucking experiment. So, anyways, that's it. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. And thank all of you for 10,000 subscribers. That's insane. So, I'll see you next time.